bless the house tonight. I realize it's midweek service. We don't have all of our normal crowd, but I want you to know you ain't got to have 130. If you got 120, come on now. In that upper room, you had 28, 25, 39, 165. It wouldn't matter. All you need is every person you got there had one more reason, and that is the fulfillment of the plan of God because you obeyed the Lord. Amen. And the good thing is, uh, is that if I will uh, submit myself to the Lord. He said that he will fulfill his promise just like he told them in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11. He said that if you'll obey me, he said I'll give you the first rain and the latter rain. I'll send forth the rain. I'm telling you here tonight that our rain hinges and contingent upon our obedience to the Lord. Will you find yourself a place tonight and say God, don't let me miss. Please don't let me step out of the will of God. Please don't let me miss the glory of God when it's there to come down. God, instead of me looking round about and blaming everything on everybody, every situation, well, it's my job. Pastor Myers have had a steady income. Pastor Myers, if, if, if I had a spouse faithful to the Lord like you do, or Brother Myers, if I had a calling to preach like you do and quit using excuses as to why you don't have the victory. Just surrender in an altar and say, God, if there's any room to grow, to move up in my life, I'm asking you to show me where do I have room for improvement? Not my brother, not my sister tonight, Lord, but I'm asking about me. Lord, let me stand in front of God's holy mirror As I resemble myself after the word and the spirit, show me. Show me your perfect and divine and upright will, Lamb of God. All that that upper room crowd needed was 121 reasons to see Pentecost come through. All you need is to follow that plan where he leads the way he laid it out will follow if the Lord I'll says go, go to the upper room and tarry there with him don't offer up excuse just say Lord here am I my Lord tonight God touch our mind and our spirit go God crush that grape break the skin on the, the outside of that grape So the good things that are in me that I can't even see, that you can use, if there's a talent, if there's a gift, if there's an ability that I don't even know about, show me what it is. Show me what it is. Show me what it is, Lord. God, I pray that you'll touch our church family tonight. Oh, we need your help tonight, Jesus. Lord God, we need your help tonight. Follow that beautiful plan of God. Lord, help us surrender at the foot of the cross. Lay our life on that brazen altar. Visit that laver. Wash in that laver. That place where I can get clean before I go to the Holy of Holies. My Lord, tonight. I need it, God, I need it. I've got to have it, oh God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, I want my life to resemble the perfect plan you've laid out. I need to know the direction you want me to take, God. God, help me to have a walk and a talk and a life that when others get around me, they'll want what I have. God, help me not get caught with what the world thinks, what others think, what others want. But God, let me get caught up in you. Lord, help my mind and my spirit to be caught up in the ways of the Lord. I pray, God, help us throw ourselves at the mercy of the Lord. I throw myself at the mercy of the Master. I'm asking the potter to conform me to his will. Speak to me, God. If you've shown me something, God, help me chase after it with all that I have within me. With everything I've got, help me run after 
You what you showed me, me, what you put in my heart to do. Me. Oh, Let me do it with all my 